So ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video of Rahu in the sixth house of your Dasamsa chart. The D10 Dasamsa chart, which is a divisional chart in Vedic astrology, which shows your career, which shows all the details of your career, the obligation to society you have. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular Rahu, what sign it's in, you know, all your astrologic details for that, check out the links here astrologycares.com where under shop section you'll find my books reports consultations including link to my academy maka vedic astrology academy where i will be within a month or so also starting my uh course on vastu so rahu in the sixth house so sixth house generally it is naturally the house of service right Sixth house in the birth chart will be the house of service, jobs, debts, enemies, competition. but And it also represents maternal aunts and uncles. But see, when it comes to the dasamsha, it represents service, but it represents enemies specifically at your work, rivals at your work. Because you may have enemies outside of your, of your work. Your family members could be your enemies. But at work, then you have to deal with a set of work-related enemies. Okay. And it also represents the debt you owe to society. See, like 6,000 the birth chart is the Prarabdha Karma son, uh, or um, pending karma. Here is what is your debt to the society that you have to give, whether you get paid for it or not. So now you have Rahu here, which is one of the best placements for Rahu to be. Any malefic planet, whether it's Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Mars, they do excellent here. Here, Rahu has the cleverness to deceive the enemy. Rahu has the cleverness to defeat the enemy at their own game. Okay, and usually you will see when it's a very uh, charming Rahu in the sixth house. For example, if it's in signs like Taurus and Gemini, Libra, this is the person who will not let the enemy come forward without a flower. Meaning, they have the capacity to not destroy the enemy. They're like, no, no, no. Why am I going to destroy you? I'm going to gain something from you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate the situation where you like me, where you want to be around me professionally, and you actually help me in my career. And this is, this is where that intelligence comes into play of Rahu. Because again, Rahu is a de deceiver, right? But here in this new age world, it is somebody who realizes that, oh, why am I going after my enemy? Let's say if it's a turf war and I'm going to kill everybody in that other turf. Why am I doing that? I can actually use them to help me with my business, but I got to use my cleverness to do it. Now, of course, Rahu also represents contamination. Rahu is poison, contamination. So here we see, because Rahu is being there, Rahu, which is this energy that represents many, you see that this person has to deal with work environment, which will be contaminated. Now, how do you see that in real world? Contamination can be, look, it can be viewed in many different facets. For example, one facet could be you could actually be a contamination cleaner with Rahu in the sex. You are those workers who wear those hazmat suits and that white suit and you have to clear out something which is contaminated. You're an attorney who has to deal with, maybe you're a criminal attorney and you have to deal with the contaminated area of society. You go into being a police officer, you go being into a soldier, you're going to deal with contamination of crime. So wherever the work is, it doesn't mean that they are dealing with contamination, meaning the contamination is coming to them. No, they are there to deal with the contamination. They're deal with dealing with the, uh, cl uh, the cleansing of the contamination. Now, of course, such people can also contaminate as well. But Rahu alone will not show us that there would have to be the arrangements of planets where we see that this person has the 
capacity to contaminate the workplace. Okay, and especially you will see with Rahu in the sixth, they become so immersed in work that they can forget about everything else in the world, which can backfire with family issues, not spending time within with the family because you want to accomplish this thing. You're now on this mission to take care of that work. And one of the antidotes that becomes to this particular Rahu is going on vacation. These people must take a vacation. If anybody else does not do it, such people have to. Because if they don't, they can overwork their brain without realizing that brain needs rest. Hearts needs rest. Your body needs rest. You could like just faint working. You know, if you work so immensely, like for example, somebody who might be an artist, somebody who let's say is a film director, working 18 hours a day on set because they are like, I gotta complete this move. But they so overwork themselves compared to everybody else that it catches up to them at one point. And especially um, people who go for competitive exams, professional competitive exams, not like competitive exams related to school. This is more like, for example, in India, there's UPSC exams, right? IAS, IAS, IPS officer, IFS. Well, this is where this Rahu then helps them because that exam is separate from your education. You're not taking that in your school environment. You're taking that because you want that particular job. So wherever there's a professional uh, competitiveness that comes into play, these people are able to focus and attain that particular thing, especially if they're doing it in a time period of a Raj Yoga or Dhan Yoga. Because Dhan Yoga doesn't mean wealth all the time. Dhan Yoga simply can mean um, wealth of recognition comes into play. Wealth of some job comes into play, not the paycheck. Because getting a job it becomes that wealth for you. Because then you know that resources are coming from that particular job. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of Rahu and the sixth house of your Dasamta chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. So you don't miss type of videos. If you don't know where your Rahu is placed, along with all your celestial details, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.